Welcome on in Jacksonville Beach, Florida is the location, the event Supergirl Pro, the maiden inaugural voyage here. It's been a long time in the works. Supergirl Pro has been in Oceanside in Southern California primarily since 2007. It's here, it's 2021, and it's here to stay for four more years. I keep coming back to Supergirl because I love what it's about. I love what it stands for. It's about empowering women, giving us a platform to really shine. Um, it's a really positive, friendly environment. The Supergirl events are always my favorite events to come to every year just because of the positive energy that they always have around the event and I feel like we're all here just to have fun with each other and of course we all are competing and want to win. And just to watch the next generation of Little Rippers is is really special for me. Being here at the Jacksonville Supergirl Pro event is inspiring, motivating, and I'm just excited to compete and showcase what I have. Supergirl embodies the individual and what they believe in and that passion for it. Supergirl is a great organization and I'm, I'm thinking what better way to compete with a great competition that hosts this event for all females in general Little girls, I want to inspire them. I want to keep working harder. I came out here to Jacksonville, Florida to win the Supergirl competition, DJ competition. All the women out here like singing, DJing, surfing, and it just like motivated me that like girls can do anything. Um, I drove four hours to be here at this all-girl event and it was just so worth it. This is the best experience of my life. Every round is gonna get so tough. Like I, I looked at this, like the round is 64, once it goes to 32, like there is not a single like easy round anymore. So a lot of it's gonna come down to wave strategy. And I was talking to a couple girls today on like where to sit in the lineup. I think there's just a little bit more drive to this event. Plus now that it's a series, I think, you know, Caroline won the first one. There's gonna be some girls, I think, looking for revenge. And with girls about to qualify in Haliva, this is kind of a big warm up for them. So 3,000 points is a lot. I think it's gonna get really competitive and kind of gritty towards the end of those last four. Here we go, blue up and riding, racing down the line. Big hit off the top and another turn. And Alyssa has a pair of nines, the, the highest heat total of the whole event. Benedetto's last ditch effort, and she is up and riding. Gets a couple of nice similar snaps. Buzzer beater needed a 6.1. And folks, she earns a 6.5, takes it at the last minute. She beats Chelsea in the last wave ridden. Wow. wow. All right, Caroline will show you what's up on this wave. On her backhand, one, two, three time a lady. Wow. And one bonus for you. And how about yet another? How about five and yep. one more? She loves it. Let's hear it for Caroline Marks. Bravo. All right, they split the peak. Looks like Katie on the backhand. Ooh, nice aggressive first turn. Snaps it down. And a quick hit to finish. Semi-final number one, Alyssa Spencer and Zoe Benedetto. And then semi-final number two, Caroline Marks and Katie Simmers. We have pristine conditions here in Jacksonville Beach for the ladies. Alyssa Spencer from San Diego is on fire, but watch out for local Florida girl, Caroline Marks. Stand by with 90 seconds red. Listening looks like it might be running the bar, a little check down. And then the finish, yes. there we go. Ooh, and it's in, 7-6-7 seven, seven for Alyssa Spencer. And it looks like it's gonna be Alyssa Spencer in three, two, one, on to the final. Welcome on in, this is seat number two. Looking for a 6-0-7 now. What's happened out here, Caroline? Ooh, look at that little hollow section. So she tried to float up and over, and then this was the 6-3-3. Three, three. Nice down the line snap. Oh, here we go. Blue on the backhand, Katie. Quick snap. Out on the open wall, carving down. And one more for good measure. Well, looks like Caroline Marks is gonna be up against Alyssa Spencer in the final. 35 minutes will tell the tale as who will walk away, what girl, what lady is gonna walk away with the Supergirl cape? Caroline rolling into a, a sidewinder off the bottom, down the line, snap, into the Whoa. bowl and hacks it. <laughs> Ooh. Better wave maybe, Ooh, draws out a nice, Rail gouge, two more snap. Seemingly all the good waves are coming to the native Floridian. Uh oh, hold on. Alyssa, Ooh. a little wedgy one. She gets a nice snap. Deep off the bottom, hammers it, wrap down. Oh, yes. And one more, and Caroline's last did better. 
693 for Caroline. Alyssa looking for the 8-5, but hold the phone. Score starting to slowly trickle into the computer for Alyssa Spencer. Looking for an 8.5. Score is 8.6. Turns the heat. Caroline now needs a 704. Need to get 8-5 and you get an 8-6. One tenth, folks. Game of inches out here. Four, three, three two, two, one. one. Alyssa Spencer, your champion of the 2021 Supergirl Pro at Jack's Pier. Congratulations and great job, Caroline Marks. Our champion out here, please give it up for Alyssa Spencer. $8,000, a gold medal, the cape that we're gonna see momentarily, and 3,000 QS points. And our cape presented by President and CEO of Visit Jacksonville, Michael Corgan. And this cape means so much to me. It's honestly so cool to come like full circle. I feel like since I was a little girl, like watching the girls who were winning these events when I was younger, and now I'm one of those girls. So I guess I just hope to inspire another one of those little girls to know that they can do the same thing one day too. <laughs>